In this topic, we will discuss about the advances in hybrid seed production of castor. Castor is a cross-pollinated crop and pollination occurs by means of wind called as anemophily. The main cause of cross-pollination is protogynous condition. It means gynosium matures early before the maturation of pollens. Raceme inflorescence is found in castor crop. As shown in the diagram, top of main stem is called as primary raceme, top of branch on main stem is called as secondary raceme and top of branch on branch is called as tertiary raceme. There are two types of racemes are found in castor plants, monoecious raceme and pistillate raceme. When both male and female flowers are found in the same raceme, then it is called as monoecious raceme. As shown in the diagram, upper 30 to 50 percent flowers are staminate and lower 50 to 70 percent flowers are pistillate. Environment affect the percentage of male and female flowers. In winter season, percentage of female flowers get increased and in summer season, percentage of male flowers get increased. Nutrition and age of plants also affect the percentage of male and female flowers. In young plants with high nutrition, increase the percentage of female flowers and in old plants with low nutrition, increase the percentage of male flowers. When only female flowers are found in a raceme, then it is called as pistillate raceme. As shown in the diagram, 100% flowers are pistillate. Genotype of castor plant and environment determine whether the castor plant is monoecious or pistillate, hence determination of pistillate plants in castor is called as pistillate mechanism. Three types of systems are used in pistillate mechanism, N-type system, S-type system and NES-type system. First is N-type system. In this system, pistillate line is determined by genotype. A recessive allele small n is responsible for pistillate line development. Capital N, capital N and capital N small n genotypes determine monoecious plants while small n small n genotype determine pistillate plants. During hybrid seed production, in female row, there may be some monoecious plants along with pistillate plants. These monoecious plants must be rogue out before flowering. Pistillate line can be maintained by crossing with heterozygous monoecious plants. As a result, 50% pistillate plants are obtained in each generation. Second is S-type system. S means sex reversal variants. This system is developed in Israel. Only 50 to 70 percent plants are pistillate in a pistillate line in this system. Pistillate plants revert into monoecious plants at different stages of development. Three main reversions takes place. First order reversion, second order reversion and third order reversion. In first two reversions, 30 to 40 percent plants revert into monoecious plants while in third reversion, only 10 percent plants revert into monoecious plants. Because 90 percent plants remain pistillate in late reversion, hence it is considered suitable for hybrid seed production. S pistillate line can be maintained by growing in field with 100 meter isolation and by removing all monoecious plants. 
third is NES type it is a temperature sensitive end line temperature conditions during the time of flowering determine the pistillate plants less than 32 degrees centigrade temperature during flowering favors 100 percent pistillate plants while more than 32 degrees centigrade temperatures during flowering favors 100 percent monoecious plants these lines are maintained in summer season by growing in field with 100 meter isolation roguing should be done to remove of type plants this system is best suited for hybrid seed production next we will discuss about the hybrid seed production pistillate plants are used as female parent and monoecious plants are used as male parent in hybrid seed production the isolation required 150 meter from other varieties and hybrids of castor the planting ratio adopted is three lines of female parent and one line of male parent rabi season should be selected when the daily mean temperatures are less than 32 degree centigrade in nipping technique all vegetative axillary buds are removed from castor plant this reduces the vegetative growth as a result numbers and length of racemes get increased which result in increase in number and weight of seeds and also hybrid seed yield harvest the male rows first and remove them from the field then harvest the female rows picking wise Care should be taken to avoid mechanical mixtures during harvesting, threshing and drying. Hybrid seed of different varieties are produced in castor using NS and NES system as shown in the table.